Welcome back, everyone. I am joined by Linda Nelson, who is the Economic and Community Development Director for the Town of Stonington, as well as Susie Shepard, who is the Master of Ceremonies for the 4th of July Parade coming up there. So it's great to have you both in here with us. Thank you for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you, Peter. Thank you. Uh, so first of all, with the 4th of July right around the corner, uh, Susie, I want to uh, kick it to you real quick. Tell us about what we can expect for the 4th of July celebration. Well, we have a lot of people expected to come to town, probably about a thousand people. We have a community band that plays and uh, they've been practicing for weeks. Yeah. And um, we have our color guard and our, we have our, you know, suite of fire trucks yeah. and our, our grand marshal this year is Dave Taylor. And so, yeah, the same guy that drives, you know, he'll come and pick him up in his fancy car and and drive him to the parade and drive him back home again. Ford Neville does that for us every single year. And, um, and then we have 16 floats and walkers coming through the parade along with a whole bunch of antique cars. Cool. Okay, yeah. so it's going to be a sight to behold. Oh, it will be. Yeah. It you, will be. You mentioned like a thousand people or so you're expecting to come. Is that uh, from outside of Stonington? Yeah, they come from all over. They come from Blue Hill, okay. Brooksville, Brooklyn, yeah. So it's going to be a big influx for the town. Yes. Yeah, the celebration is pretty much the quintessential small town celebration, yeah. and the parade kicks it off in the morning. There is a breakfast earlier. Um, there's a Stonington 6. There's a road race. Right. It's not too nice. late to sign up. That's at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And, um, and then the parade, and we end it all with um, the best fireworks in the state, really, because you can watch them over the bay and over the harbor. That's incredible. And they're fantastic. It doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. And so uh, it's not the end of the summer once we get past 4th of July. There's way more in store in the town of Stonington, including the lobster boat races coming up just a couple weeks later. So tell us a little about uh, that event. Yeah, well, really, July 4th, and the theme of the parade is Fly Me to the Moon this year. Right. So that is really the kickoff to the summer season mm -hmm. in Stonington. And um, so the very next weekend on the 14th, we have the Stonington Lobster Boat Races. If people have not seen lobster boat races, it's mm -hmm. really a sight to behold. You can see them from either land or from being out on boats. They race right in our downtown. Wow. Um, we have a special, the next week, a special Fisherman's Hall of Fame event at our historical society. Mm -hmm. And next weekend is also the Deer Isle Jazz Festival, which is its 24th season of wow. that at the Stonington Opera House, which is on the National Register of Historic Places. And people who might be interested in the Jazz Festival uh, what kind of artists are, I mean, obviously there will be lots of jazz. Uh, does it expand beyond that, or um, are there any local names that people might want to keep an eye out for? There are. Um, both nights there's opening bands, um, and including the George Stevens Academy mm -hmm. award-winning combo. That's the high school up on the Blue Hill Peninsula, and cool. they open every year for one of the name acts. Um, but the acts in the festival come from all over the world. They're international jazz performers. And this year it's Arturo O'Farrell, who does Cuban African Latin jazz. Wow. Well, that yeah. sounds like it's going to be a great time. So much amazing uh, stuff happening in Stodington this summer. So uh, we thank you both for joining us, uh, Susie and Linda. Thank you so much. Thank you for having thank us. You. All right. And stay tuned. Your full extended forecast is coming right up.